looked like that. <laughs> That's creepy, man. Oh, wow. Halle Berry is awesome. I just got, whoa. So, God, where did you have to use that photo? There she is right there, guys. Hey, believe it or not, she posted that photo herself. Never Let Go is a movie with Halle Berry coming out September 27th with a uh, synopsis that reads, a family that has been hunted by an evil spirit for years. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Their safety and their surroundings come into question when one of their children, one of the children questions if the evil is real. Fascinating. So do they share some kind of collected psychosis? Fascinating. The new trailer is out called Never Let Me Go. Check it out. I am a Halle Berry fan. And I do like horror. And I do like to dabble with evil spirits. Oh, I guess you should start the trailer though, James. <laughs> Once upon a time, it, uh, there was a mother and her two sons. Kind of like a fable, huh? And nothing could hurt them as long as they stay connected to their home. Yeah, she doesn't look all together up there. Why are they doing this? Is that like a post-apocalyptic scenario? I know this life's been hard on you boys since the world ended. Okay, so it is sort of. Don't feed the dog. We're not the only ones starving. But the evil out there is clever. One touch without a robot. Is all it takes. Oh. Okay. Never From the director go. of Crawl. Never let, Never let go. That was that alligator movie, right? Ow. After your rope broke. Did you notice anything? I like the production design. The, Why are you asking all these questions? The tone of this. An executive producer of Stranger you Things. You doubt me. Maybe it's safe to leave. That's what it wants you to think. Maybe it's safe to leave, so... It does look like there's a creature of some kind. Is your lifeline. Or mutated humans. Chuds, maybe? Never let go. Never let go. Ooh. Okay, there is something sinister going on here. Maybe the world's still out there. Hmm. When the world now. Okay. Now we know why she's looked like that. That's creepy, man. Oh wow. Never let go. Um that sold me. Coming soon. From Alexandra Aja. Uh Lionsgate. Wow, that was actually a lot more impressive than I thought. Let's take a look at some of the comments. Looks like underneath it's about helicopter parenting. Kind of reminds me of Bird Box, only you can actually see the creatures or whatever. All right, the Art Glass Viking said that in the live chat. Looks like cool though. I enjoyed Bird Box. It was. I, I like Bird Box too, and I like, I really like Bird Box Barcelona. Glad they didn't show us the whole movie in the trailer. Live action adaptation of Princess and the Frog. Looks interesting. <laughs> um, yeah. Did Jordan Peele have to do with anything with this? I don't think so. Um, I don't think so. Uh, let's take a look at who produced this. Um, but Halle Berry, like that, that uh, final shot was haunting. Stephanie Levine is evil, the evil. Matthew Kevin Anderson is the stranger, young girl. It's not a huge cast. Small premise of this family stuck in the woods after some kind of doomsday. Maybe, maybe doomsday. Uh, all cast and crew, we need producers, James. We need producers. Produced by... Uh, no, I'm not seeing Peel on there. Those are all the money people, guys. Sean Levy produced. Really? Guy who did uh, Deadpool 3? Yeah, that's Sean Levy. 
the one who works with Ryan Reynolds and Blake, Blake Lively. Uh, curious how things like that come around, right? You know, like a, We just did a trailer reaction for a uh, Blake Lively movie called uh, Mortal Kombat 2. No, <laughs> it was called uh, It Ends With Us. Um, that's a rom-com. This is a horror kind of feel to it, and I dig it. Yeah, shades of bird box in there because you don't know how far away you can go and stuff like that. Uh, there's some kind of entities in the woods. Uh, I, I think it's mutated humans. Um, we've seen, yeah. Let's see if I can scroll ahead here. Getting on, okay, that's Halle Berry. I thought that was uh, somebody trying to kidnap them. Um, very eerie, man. Okay, so there's some snake skin wow very horrific imagery for sure i'm digging it okay well, who's that standing there some old man so there are other people out there some other survivors that are being evil or something very curious huh never let go what do you guys think? Are you sold on this? That that's the shot that sold me. That's that's like um, like a centipede of some kind going up the a human centipede. Um, that's yeah, that's disturbing. Very much kind of like uh, the ritual kind of monster, right? There's some other kind of big entity out there. Very interesting. Uh, Our glass has kind of an M Night feel to it. Yeah, dark. Namja says 2024 may go down as one of the best years of horror films. It seems like it. We've, we're getting a good taste of it. But we also get our fair shares of uh, Night Swim <laughs> in there. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, Chris Schober says, I'm thinking I'm getting a physical copy of Dune Part 2 today from Walmart. Cool, man. Uh, Imaginary from Blumhouse. Imaginary was, they tried with Imaginary. It just, uh, if it was a little bit more like the third act than. The first two acts it could have been better all right let me know what you thought about the comments and uh let me know what you thought about this trailer in the comments below and we will talk about it as i said hey if you like talking movies and stuff guys come join us here on mirror domains because we are a live show where we talk about the new superman suit trailer reactions for the new rings of power season two and house of the dragon season two megalopolis kingdom of the planet of the apes movie review as well as tarot hey if you like horror movies go check out my review for tarot <laughs> and full series reactions for uh fallout and of course, then we do movie news throughout the week where we talk about all the trending movie news headlines of the day. And we do it live, so we take live comments. Um, <laughs> if you'd like to talk movies and stuff, come join us here, right here on Mirror Domains. <laughs>